Oh my god, we get it. You're loud, bro. Shush. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to coming home, not going to work, because right now it is like 45 degrees, not even. And wind chill, of course, is a lot colder. And I feel the wind coming through the jacket right now, and that'll be fantastic when the sun is out, but right now, it, eh, not fun. Kind of like that, the gas prices right now, look at that. Do you see that? 327, like 328 a gallon? What is this? What future dystopian nightmare are we in right now? Anyway, I'm probably gonna continue this video after work because it is a lot colder than I thought it would be. But that's fine, I don't care. But I am gonna give you my review of the WD Motorsports stuff that I have and I'll show it on screen what I have. And there'll be links in the description down below. And I'll give you my thoughts and opinions and whether or not you should buy this. So stay tuned, America. And I'll be right back when the sun's out. Oh yeah, I'm back, baby. And yeah, I forgot the sun goes down at like 5 p.m. now. Thanks, daylight savings. So yeah, I just wanna say I like it. I like the stuff. Right now, it's like chilly outside, I guess. I think it's like maybe in the high 60s or something. Especially in the shade, it's lower, obviously. But like, it feels really good. Like, I can feel enough air coming through it to where like, uh, like I can breathe, you know? But it's not freezing me out or anything. Because my problem is I'm hot natured and I live in Georgia. So I can't wear a lot of motorcycle gear because I'll die. But at least when the temperatures are cooler, I can wear like heavier stuff. But I'm the type of guy that, you know, when it's 70, I want to just ride with a short sleeve shirt on. And that's frowned upon. And I know it's not safe and all that jazz, but like I just get too hot. So I need stuff like this that's breathable. Oh man, look at that there sunset boy. Oh yeah. And that person in the passenger seat is staring at me. It's uncomfortable. But yeah, I like this jacket because it's not super heavy duty, you know? So like on my way to work, I wasn't shivering or like dying or anything, it was cold. But I probably wouldn't wear it under 40 degrees. I honestly, you probably should wear it under like 50, 55 maybe, unless you got something on underneath it. I didn't. I mean, look, I was wearing a shirt. I'm just saying it wasn't a warm shirt. I wasn't naked, I promise. But this is definitely, uh, you know, hence the name Mesh in the jacket title, more of a summer jacket. And I think it's a great summer jacket. Like wearing this around off of the bike, I don't feel like I'm being weighed down and like dragging my arms, like it's, it's reasonable. It still has the padding, you know, if I took that out, it'd be even better, but I'm not gonna take the padding out because I'm wearing it on a motorcycle. But you know, it's nice. And the pants, I'm not much of a motorcycle pants person, but I can say they're not overbearing either. They definitely make me feel way more protected. Like, if I'm gonna fall off the bike, I wanna have those pants on, not my jeans. I want them over my jeans, but my jeans aren't gonna help. Those will. My gas light is on. I gotta get gas. <laughs> That's fun, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> the person behind me is probably like what is wrong with this guy and the gloves they're real leather but they're like i don't know they're flexible they have good protection and um i think yeah they're touchscreen capable i don't do that because i don't have my phone mounted so i can't test that for you guys because i don't use my phone when i'm on the bike but they are touch capable at least with this pointer finger 
But they are nice. They fit like really tight. Like when I first put them on, I was like, oh no, they might be too small. But they're like really form fitting. And it feels like I'm not even wearing gloves. Like <laughs> I really dig it. And I gotta say like, they were actually pretty warm on the way here. Like obviously it was 40 degrees out and I was getting kind of cold, but my hands weren't that bad. Like with some other gloves I wear, if it's under 50, you know, my hands like immediately freeze. But these actually held off for a little bit. And right now it's cool, not hot, but they feel fantastic. I can feel like a little bit of breeze coming through them. Just enough to breathe, but not like make them cold. Oh, it's fantastic. And they do have uh, protection on the palm and where it matters. So you don't have to worry about these like not helping you. I really do feel like these would be okay in a crash. At least, you know, not a major one maybe. I don't know anything about major crashes. I have no idea what can withstand that. I'm not a pro racer. Don't ask me. But if I was to like, you know, fall off a bike a little bit, I think these would be great. And also, as of recording this, it is Veterans Day tomorrow and I don't have to go to work. <laughs> Suck it, nerds. You're welcome for my service. But yeah, all in all, the pants aren't over and cumbersome, which for all the motorcycle pants I've tried on, they've not been terrible, but you know, it feels weird to try and walk around in them. But these really are probably the lightest pair, I guess, lightest feeling. They're still bulky compared to normal pants, obviously, but that's the point, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a motorcycle pants person. I don't know. I really dig the jacket and gloves, though. Although, if I'm going to throw motorcycle pants on, there's definitely nothing wrong with these. And again, if you haven't seen my action... Ooh! Yee! Rolls Royce Wraith. Yes, please. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. If you haven't seen my other video, like, not necessarily unboxing, but the first impression of all this gear, go check it out. It's got links in the descriptions as well. It gives you a little more in-depth of the features, and I didn't want to, you know, just re-say all the features and what all they do in this video. So if that's what you're interested in, go check out that video. But this is just like my writing impression and how I feel about it. And it's cost-effective gear too. You're not paying like 500 bucks for a motorcycle suit or anything with this stuff. It's, it's really well priced. So I say you should go for it. Wow, it got really loud when I pulled the throttle back there. Yeah, overall, I don't have like a star rating system, but I'd say it's a buy. Like, do I think this is the most protective gear on the market? Probably not but it's cheaper than the most protective gear on the market, so, you know, there's that. But if you're just looking for something that, you know, you want to be safe when you fall in, here you go. And you also don't have to worry about being over encumbered and like, I don't know, wearing heavy winter gear in the summertime. Because if you're like me, you'll overheat and it's a no bueno. But this is nice. It'll give you the confidence you need to drop the knee in them turns. I'm not going nearly fast enough for that, but I'm just saying theoretically, you could. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. So uh, again, go check out the first video if you haven't. I'll like put it in the video right here somewhere uh, if I can figure out how to do that or remember to do it, whatever. If not, I'll put it in the description probably if I remember to do that. So yeah, go check out that video if you haven't learned more about it. Other than that, uh, have a great day guys and I'll catch you next time. Always remember. Some padding is better than no padding when you're falling off a motorcycle. Don't be a hero. Wrap your body in cellophane wrap. It's the only way. Peace out, guys. Oh my god, we get it. You're loud, bro. Shush. You know what the real emergency is? These gas prices. I have to pay $4 a gallon. Ugh.